Hello! In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to get started with the CC3200 SimpleLink Wi-Fi Launchpad and Energia. This launchpad will help you take your projects into the cloud using your personal Wi-Fi network. The CC3200 has a powerful ARM Cortex-M4 core and a Wi-Fi network processor on one device. This system-on-chip design lets us run the application stack and the network stack together on one processor. For many projects, this makes things a little easier by combining the microcontroller and wireless functionality together. However, please note, in some cases it still makes sense to have a separate microcontroller and wireless coprocessors. For example, you may need an MCU with better performance, better pricing, better peripherals, or better power consumption. You can do this by using the CC3100 network processor only device and pairing it with the MCU of your choice. Now let's get started. For this example, all we'll need is the CC3200 launchpad. For a hardware setup, we will want to check on a few things. You can refer to the CC3200 hardware guide on the Energia website for the most complete details on hardware setup. The first thing you want to make sure is the jumpers match the default factory positions. Wrong jumper placement can cause unexpected results. Next, we will want to remove any jumpers on the booster pack headers. There is one jumper that comes out of the box to short VCC and pin 2, which tells the CC3200 to go into AP mode. We can change this in software so that jumper is not necessary and can be put to the side. There is a special jumper called SOP2, which changes the launch pad from programming mode to application mode. You can either keep removing the jumper as you program your launch pad, or you can use the jumper wire or wire wrap connecting the pins as shown to make it easier. Lastly, if you like, you can update to the latest SimpleLink firmware, but it's not required to begin working with Energia. Consult the Energia website hardware guide for details on how to perform an update. Now we're ready to move on to the software. First, plug your launchpad to your computer over USB. Make sure you've downloaded and installed the drivers so your computer can communicate with the launchpad over USB. You can find the drivers for your operating system on the Energia CC3200 hardware guide. Next, let's open up Energia. Make sure we select our board and COM port by going to Tools, Board, CC3200, and Tools, Serial Port. Go ahead and run a Blink example to ensure the hardware is functioning properly. We will import an existing code example by going to File, Examples, Basics, Blink. Click the Download button and make sure your red LED is blinking. If successful, your hardware is correctly set up and you are ready to move on to testing the Wi-Fi. If you run into trouble, go back carefully through the setup instructions to resolve the issue. Now let's try out the Wi-Fi connectivity. We will import an existing code example by going to File, Examples, Wi-Fi, Simple Web Server Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi examples are designed to be straightforward. In this case, the only thing we will need to modify is our SSID and password information for our Wi-Fi router. After we include our required header files for Wi-Fi.h, we'll enter our router information. Next, we'll call our Wi-Fi server constructor and set it to port 80. In the setup function, we'll start our serial communication with serial.begin. We'll print out some helper and loading text as the Wi-Fi connects. Once it connects successfully, we'll print the Wi-Fi status message, which includes the CC3200 IP address assigned by the router. In the loop function, we'll check the server.available function. Then, we'll proceed to check for clients connecting to our server hosted on the CC3200. Once we get a client, which means something sends a request to the IP of the launchpad, then we use client.println to write HTML that will render a basic web page on the client's browser. This web page will give a user basic control over the launchpad's red LED. We'll check for get requests and then use digital write to actuate the LED. When the client is no longer connected, we'll use the client.stop function. And that's it. Press the verify and download button, open up the serial monitor, wait for the launchpad to successfully connect to Wi-Fi, and then navigate to the IP address of the page hosted by the hardware. You can toggle the LED by clicking the high and low buttons. This is the first step to your next Wi-Fi connected project. There are many more examples in the Wi-Fi library you can explore to interact more meaningfully between the hardware and the internet. Good luck!